Greetings and welcome to another edition of the Fan Perspective. I am your host Nathan Nile, and this is the final round of playoffs before the Super Bowl is going to be played. And let me just say that from this point on in the season, nothing that happens will surprise me because all four of these teams are more than capable of winning the Super Bowl. You know, for the Patriots, they've got Bel, they've got Belichick, they've got Brady. And when you have two people like that, they've been there, they've done that, they know how it works. So they're never actually going to be out of a game. Then again, you have the Ravens who are playing extremely inspired football right now. Flacco is playing much better than I ever expected him to. He outdoored Peyton Manning in Denver. The Ravens defense has look, look, yo, they pl they're playing better than they have all season long with Suggs and Lewis both back in action. And, and then you also have Atlanta, Matt Ryan. He's kind of starting to look like Tom Brady a little bit. Uh, they almost gave up a huge lead against Seattle, but they were. But you know, all it takes is two plays for them to get that lead right back, apparently. <coughs> and then again, you also have the 49ers, who just showed a lot of all-around dominance in their win last week. So any of these teams is more than capable of getting in. And I'm not saying this is necessarily a prediction. I'm just saying who, how I think I would like it to see it happen. And basically what happened, you've got Baltimore at New England. And for some reason, New England's like a nine-point favorite, which is ridiculous. Uh, it's just proportionately overblown because the Ravens have had the best of New England in their most recent matchups. Last year when they played them in the playoffs, let, let's be completely honest here, Baltimore won that game. New England advanced to the next round, Baltimore won the game. You know, a dropped pass by Lee Evans and Billy Cundiff just completely shanking what should have been a chip shot. And, and next thing you know, New England... They, they end up in the Super Bowl. But in that game, Baltimore played better, and they threw it away because their kicker just sucks ass. And then earlier this season, with a brand-new kicker in <laughs> Justin Tucker, they won, actually, they managed to win by one point at the last second. There was some slight controversy at the end, but... Basically what I'm saying, these teams are a lot more evenly matched. I'm not saying that New England shouldn't be the favorite, but nine points is way too much. I would predict that whoever wins this game is going to be by like, it's definitely going to be less than nine points. Like maybe a field goal at most. And I think the Ravens either they'll win like 15 to nine, uh, like 15 to 14. You'll just see a few, a lot of different, a lot of field goals all over the place, or you'll see something like you did earlier this year, where it's like a thirty-one to thirty type affair. And but either way, I'm taking the Ravens to go on to the Super Bowl. And I'm Flacco. He's been playing so much better than I thought he would. They do have plenty of weapons on that offense, especially now that they're actually getting Ray Rice involved. Uh, when he's play when he's playing at his best, you know that offense is unstoppable. And with Ray Lewis back, they are playing inspired football. And it's just it, that defense is one of the scariest left in the league right now. But then again, and then you have this the NFC, which the Falcons, they've got relevance on defense. You know they've got playmakers. They can make stops. They can force turnovers. And I think they're a better defense than what the 49ers faced last week. I doubt that there's going to be as many big plays as they had last week. You know, I, I would be surprised to see Kaepernick get any 50-yard touchdown runs. But then again... Uh, that doesn't mean they're not going to have a big day. I mean, Frank Gore, he's Frank Gore. He's going to do what he's going to do. You can't really stop him. All you can do is just hope to slow him down a little bit. And I think Kaepernick still, even if you take away the legs, he's still got a big arm. You know? And 
I think they're going to put up plenty of points. But in the end, Atlanta has proven that they are more than capable of winning in close games, tough situations. They proved last week that they're capable of winning in the playoffs. And they're playing at home in the Dome, even against the 49ers team, which is really great. Uh, I know that Matt Ryan is more than capable of leading that last second drive and bringing them and I predict that Atlanta would win like 27 to 24, 27 to 20 somewhere along those lines with uh Atlanta and Matt Ryan coming back at the very end to be to give them the go ahead score whatever it may be, field goal, touchdown, they're capable of bringing them back from behind. And so I'm predicting right now, uh, uh, today, that the Falcons are going to go to the Super Bowl and beat the Ravens like 27 to 13. Just because you know that Flacco, he's going to keep playing well until it really matters the most. And everyone talks about Ray Lewis and how he's retiring. But I also wanted to point out the fact that Tony Gonzalez has been playing for almost as long as Ray Lewis. And he's, he wants to retire. He almost retired last year. I think he's sticking around longer because he really want, he hasn't got a Super Bowl ring yet. And, you know, some of these picks I'm trying to think with my head for the most part. But I'm, I, could, I would be lying if I said that emotions held no place in what I'm saying right now. Because, you know, Ray Lewis, uh, he's one of the best. He is the best linebacker to ever play the game, in my opinion. And... But he's already got Defensive Player of the Year twice. He's already got a Super Bowl ring. Whereas Tony Gonzalez, you know, he's the best tight end the game has ever seen. And uh, from what I last, as far as I know, last week was the first time in his career that he even won a playoff game. So I know he's definitely wanting to get <coughs> a Super Bowl, a Super Bowl ring before he quits. And. Also, more than anything else, originally, I might have been leaning a little towards New England to find a way to win because they know how to do that. But one thing that Baltimore definitely has going for them today is that some idiot put up a few signs in New England just all over Baltimore, just all over, just all over the place talking about Ray Lewis's retirement party. An electronic billboard counting down to Ray Lewis's retirement party. And I think that alone is enough, more than enough motivation, as if they didn't have any already, that <laughs> the Ravens are going to come out with some fire in their bellies and they're going to be ready to kick some ass. Ray Lewis, he knows this is the last game he will ever play in his entire career. Because, and, I mean, no, he knows that he doesn't want this to be the last game he plays in his entire career. Uh, he's he's going to come out playing like there is no tomorrow because if he loses, there won't be. And if he wins, well, there's only one more game. I mean, he's ready to leave it all on the field. So, <laughs> I definitely expect Baltimore to come out and play inspired. And Atlanta, everyone's been doubting them all season long. And they've been, <laughs> they've been proving a lot of people wrong all season long. I expect them to continue proving people wrong. And that's it for today. Sorry I'm not really at my best right now. I'd usually come with a little more energy and excitement. But kinda, I'm kind of sick right now. So whatever. Uh, th tune in in like 10 minutes when I talk about MVP. Uh, I'll put a little more effort into that. Uh, till then, I'm your I'm your host Nathan Lyle. This has been the Fans Perspective. Happy Sunday! Enjoy the playoffs. <coughs>